Five at five, it's offer review, and boy, we're getting ready for a big patch. I guess uh, according to Saturday's blog post, it was going to be on the 29th, which is going to be Wednesday, and we have final confirmation on the Alliance War updates. So we have been projecting and talking about Alliance War changes coming to the game based off of the testing done by uh, there was a two uh, community uh, pre tests where they tested it. And so we've got final confirmation that a lot, pretty much everything from what I can see is actually going to make it into the game. So I want to just go over some of the key points here. We're not going to go over everything, but the main thing to talk about is that there's going to be more energy. I'm going to start with four. So it's going up to uh, the maximum amount that you can have at any given time is going up from five to 10. And you'll have a maximum of 14 attacks. Also, ice away war ready. Uh, we've been talking about this for a while is going to be ISO level four, green ISO four, and they're going to get the war ready buff, which is going to happen on two new rooms. Basically, there's going to be an additional global room. We'll talk about that. Uh, room updates right here. We're going to have a total of eight to 10. So we're going to get two additional war defense buffs. Now, if you're in zone one, this is going to be really important. If you're in zone one, make sure your alliance sets defense squads in these new slots immediately following the conclusion of the scheduled maintenance as the version of 5.7 release so i shoot offer review every day at server reset typically you have to have your alliance war placed one hour before server reset but sometimes the patch comes in only maybe like three hours before that reset so there's going to be like a for people in zone one there's probably going to be a four, two to four hour window to get in and do this on Wednesday. So if you're in a zone one, this is a big deal when it gets released. Uh, a brief window, that's going to be zone one. And it depends on how long the patch is. If the patch uh, runs over, like, you know, they have like a seven hour patch, which they have before. Uh, and this is a big update that could be a problem. Now there's two new rooms or two different buffs on the rooms uh the cargo bay uh, no longer grants random positive effects instead it grants a 20 percent of primary stats to defense characters with a new war ready trait and that is a global buff that affects everything so this is going to become a very important room just like how med bay and armory and barracks are right now and the hangar which was also a global room kind of it still grants deflect and offense, but it also grants the 10% primary stats to war offense characters with the war ready trait, which is the green ISO. So uh, that's kind of an interesting change. And then I guess uh, the bridge will basically have uh, the cargo bay buffs. So uh, cargo bay is now going to be uh, as important as, you know, armory and barracks and med bay. It's going to be a global room. Uh, it's going to be a big deal. Also, probably the best thing ever is going to be this new practice mode. And I'm pretty excited about this. So when war is not running, you have the ability of playing against your uh, alliance mates teams and they will uh, and and the, the characters will all have the war buffs enabled, you know, the war buffs that are inside their kits. So, for example, Heroes for Hire on defense, they have all these crazy buffs that'll work. What will not be working is that there will not be any room bonuses enabled in this practice mode. But, uh, you know, like Hela on defense, you know, whenever an Asgardian dies, she throws an extra, extra Greg and then there's multiple Gregs. That kind of stuff will work. You know, like all the offensive buffs that X Factor have and things like that. So this is, this is amazing. It really is amazing. So uh, get your green ISO 4 ready. Uh, total of, you know, I'm planning they have two extra defensive teams, two extra offensive teams, and we'll take it from there. And uh, yeah, uh, this because this question came up in chat. Just want to double down on that the the new cargo bay buffs is a global buff, and yeah, the community seems to be pretty hyped about the practice mode. Just want to say this real quickly. Why are there minions in elite red star orbs? You, there's nothing worse than opening Elite 5, Elite 6, and Elite 7 and getting a Ravager Stitcher. It's garbage. I think it's just merits saying that. 
And then also DD5, Kestrel, Adam, Surfer, Power Creep. And this post right here is talking about, are you scared about DD5? And I just wanted to scopely DD4 was okay. DD3 was trash. Don't let the person who created DD3 have anything to do with DD5. It was garbage. Node 12 and DD4 was also problematic. You know, I, I'm really hopeful that DD5 will be a fun experience. I, I feel like getting into DD4 was kind of a hassle, but once you were there and you could play through it, it felt like you made some meaningful progress every day. DD3 was trash. It's still trash today. And it's not, it's just, I hope that they never have anything like DD3 ever again and that DD5 is going to be, DD5 is going to be uh, fine. I fully expect it to be super expensive to get into it. I fully expect it to be super annoying to get entrance into it. I, I'm fully expecting that these new characters are going to be vital in that experience, but hopefully the gameplay is not trash. Okay, so we've got some offers here. And um, first things first, let's just uh, bang out this trash offer right here. This is the most garbage gold orb deal. This is not a good deal. This is this is absolutely horrific. Not even close to good pricing. Maybe at best this is $16 worth of gold for 30 US dollars. Not even close. Death pool. Super bugged character still. Seems to be very important. Boy, most expensive pricing there is. 50 character shards for 35 US dollars. That's worth about a buck and a half. And that's worth about two bucks. This is almost an insulting amount of bonus items. In my opinion, there's really no point even to throwing there just to you know, it, there's no, this is trash, trash. Is she worth, I don't know if she's worth it. I have no idea. Uh, it seems kind of pricey. Uh, do what you gotta do. Given that she's a bugged character, I mean, they're, 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 they're very proud of her. They're so proud of charging $35 for 50 character shards. Still does not work correctly. In multiple ways, actually. They did say that some of it's gonna be patched uh when the patch goes live on wednesday so that's one of the things we're going to have to test out on wednesday is she working better or correctly at all and, and then there's some sort of damage cap problem that we showcased yesterday uh, anyways let's move on tier gear tier 14 offer now keep in mind there are going to be some modest not great but modest you know in, uh, increases to the war store and the gold supply store where they're going to have reduced cost for 13s and 14s and higher amounts and that should go live with the patch on wednesday this offer was trash one way or another this is also trash all right elementary particles catch up offer i want to explain how i'm going to buy this so this this offer is going to expire in 23 hours at the time of recording this video this event right here uh, you know expires also you know the the daily activities giving out this currency will be done tomorrow so what i'm going to do is um let's say uh maybe an hour or two before server reset maybe like 20 hours from now when this says like four hours two three four hours right here i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna click right here and i'm gonna see how much i have and it says i have 468 and i may buy them up to 600 because 600 I could buy the blue ISO orb. So because this is a basically this right here, $2 for 250 energy is, is a reasonable enough price. It's not like a good deal. It's not super fantastic. It's okay. But if I could buy one of these and get another one of those blue ion orbs that costs 600, I might do that. So anyways, this is something that I'm going to look at when it, when this is closer to like two, three, four hours left on the clock sometime tomorrow. And then I'm going to see, try to get enough to get up to the 600. Um, and it's not, this is not like a super good deal. It's just, it's a good enough deal. Plus I've got some characters I need to work on to get ready for war, you know, with my, my green ISO four and stuff like that. So maybe I'll use it for that. Anyways, let's move on. Nope. Not doing that. I, I just not a fan of these offers. It's just not a meaningful amount. Uh, it's it's crack and snack. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I bought the fifty dollar offer the other day, and you saw what I got. I got enough to upgrade like one character with fifty bucks. So uh, I just you know, this is just a crack and snack. It's super expensive. Blue ISO 
And Blue Iso is going to be super important for Doom 2. So a lot of stuff happening this week. Doom 2, new Alliance War changes. It's going to be lots of fun. New character. We're going to have fun on Wednesday. Come hang out with us on Twitch. Patch days are always fun. You get to see all the bugs, all the chaos on patch day. <laughs> lots of fun we have on Twitch. Uh, that'll be on uh, the 29th on Wednesday. When the server goes down, I'll probably be on Twitch when the server goes down. Uh, I'll probably play Marvel Future Revolution or something while the patch is still down. Or I'll just read, we'll watch Marvel Strike Force videos. I don't know. We'll do something until the patch goes up. Anyways, we have fun. Trash. More trash. I don't get this stuff. Uh, I do get this. I do think this is worth considering. Uh, I have bought this. This is not a great pricing or anything like that. I value these about $3 a piece. So right there. We've got five orbs, 15 bucks, so it's worth 15 bucks. Here's the deal, though. We're going to have another Blitz. Excuse me. We're going to have another Blitz on Thursday uh, where you can split it between. But they are super, they, this is super, they're being super stingy with Cloak and Dagger. And I just feel like they're going to be important to me in finishing Doom 2 and also in finishing uh, Dark Dimension 5. So uh, for me, I'm trying to get these characters up to five yellow stars at least. Uh, but it's expensive. Let's move on. Again, not a meaningful amount. I need a million of these. And I have an abundance of those right now. They're being super stingy on blue ISO. Blue ions, rather, right now. Seems to me I have a lot of ISOs, but I don't have enough ions at all. So this event that happened did help a little bit, but not nearly enough. I still have an abundance of currency. And basically, I just need the ions to upgrade the characters. All right. Upgrade to premium. So this is for the battle pass. Uh, if I don't want, if I like run a day short or miss something, I can skip playing RTA a bunch for 20 bucks. All right, caught a fish this big. Again, I, I, the, the importance of this character is, 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 is he's a defensive war character. Uh, Omega Red looks to be a hard counter. Uh, she does have, the Harris for Hire does have some use outside of defense on war. I've used them in raids. Somebody was telling me that they had a tremendous success in Dark Dimension 4 with them, and they one-shot that horrible um, Node 12. So there you go. But for me, I'm happy with them. And then this is not really great pricing. 50 character shards for 30 bucks. It's not. This is not on my radar. Like like yesterday, I was talking about Kestrel. I'm excited about people buying Kestrel. This, eh, I don't know. It's just such an. It's kind of a niche thing, if you will. Let's move on. Important to some people for sure, but not to me. Anyways. Uh, at best, I value these at a bucket apiece, so that's like $11. And then arena orbs, man, those are really worth a dollar fifty cents a piece. Anyways, this offer is not worth $25. Legacy 2 orb bundle, so this is, I value these orbs at $0.33. Cents. Uh, they have characters from year two of the game. They also have a small amount of gold and purple gear. Uh, I'm not necessarily interested in this myself. Isolate energy offer, uh, I'm favorable to this. I'm, I'm more favorable to that offer up there for 2 bucks. The two bucks is a better deal than this, right? Because then you get 250 energy for two bucks. And then you also get that currency, which you can buy the ions in the store. So I'm going to say that the, the $2 offer, which has 250 energy, is better than this right here uh, easily, in, in my opinion. Because I don't place a high amount of value on these. Anyways, let's move on. And I'm going to wait and buy that tomorrow. I'm not going to buy today. Trash. Uh, this, is in, this is always here. At best, uh, you know, they've sold 50 silver promotion credits for $3, but uh, this is kind of a situational thing. Like if you just at 140 and spending $3, you get to 150 to get the character that's sitting there because, you know, they rotate the characters and you have to wait forever for the character to show up. And I remember buying this because it allowed me to take my Kestrel to five stars. Anyways, very situational, I suppose, but it's not a great deal overall. Trash, more trash. Uh, heroic deal. I value 800 energy about four bucks. Hard to say the rest of this adds up to six bucks. There is some double drops running right now and it's, uh, they're guardian characters, right? So, uh, it, the, the reason why people might consider buying this if they're pushing to get to level 85 or they want to take advantage of some sort of double drops, check the events tab because there's double drops coming and going all the time. All right, let's move on. Uh, orb draft. This is the guppy snack. A red star I value at a buck and a half, premium orb a buck, training orb a buck and a half, 14 base score orbs about 90 cents. I used to buy this, I just don't find I need any of these items currently at this exact moment, but I have bought this a bunch. Not gonna buy it today. Let's move on. Limited time sale, no, no, no. This is horrible. At best I value this at 
and that maybe about two bucks, like ten dollars value, not even close to twenty bucks. Let's move on. Power core deal. I've never bought this, but it seemed always reasonable enough. I think I would be more interested in this if it came with two twenty-five power cores for three bucks, and then you'd be getting the training materials for free. I, I be, feel like since the skill military event come around, I don't have this, you know, extreme shortage of training materials like we used to have, let's say like six months ago. It's still a bottleneck, but it's just it just seemed a little bit better. All right, pack of shame, blitz, don't buy that, blitz a lot, and the rest of this is trash. Let's scroll all the way around the bottom, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, we're gonna skip over to the free-to-play account and see what we have over here. We're gonna go and look, we're gonna pass over all of the offers that we've already reviewed, and we're gonna look for uh, unique offers to this account. Sometimes they have different offers. Um, and sometimes there's some interesting ones. Typically characters that I already have at seven stars are not on my main account, but they show up here. Looks like everything is the same. Okay. So tomorrow is Tuesday. Uh, we'll be doing Alliance war later tonight and then we'll be patch day on Wednesday. I'm pretty excited, a uh, pretty significant patch. I'm expecting a lot of chaos in, in the war, uh, and the doom, the doom raid doom two is going to be a lot of chaos. Uh, I'll be able to I'll publish videos, but you know, we'll probably have it figured out and settled in in about a week or two Especially with war. We'll see how it goes. All right guys Let me know what you think in the comment section and as always. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming